Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part 4 of the 6 videos on 30 vegetable recipes. Today I'll be making 5 different vegetable fry recipes using mushroom, drumstick, eggplant, okra also called lady's finger, chai tea also called chow chow. If you are looking for specific fried recipe, the time slots are given below in the description box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get started. These are some of the benefits of mushroom. Ingredients to make stuffed mushroom. Here I have got button mushrooms. If you want to make a big batch, just double or triple the ingredients. Wipe the mushroom with tissue or a soft kitchen towel. Remove the stem and scrape the edges. Make room for filling as shown here. Do not discard the stem and the scraped mushroom. Finely chop them and add it to the filling mixture. Let's make filling for that into a pan. Add a tablespoon of oil. Add a tablespoon of chopped ginger and garlic. Fry this for about 30 seconds. Two green chilies finely chopped. Always cook every single ingredient well so that the flavor get infused in the dish. One onion finely chopped. Fry this for a while. This is finely chopped stem and the scraped mushroom. To this add 3 4 teaspoon of salt. Mix well. Cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. Mushroom is done. Turn off the flame. Let it cool down. Transfer the mushroom to a bowl. Add 2 tablespoons of chopped coriander leaves, 2 to 3 cheese cubes. Combine everything and set aside. Now let's peel the mushroom. Add some grated mozzarella cheese on top. Into a pan, add 2 tablespoons of oil and arrange the mushrooms. Cover and cook for about 10 minutes on a low flame. Delightful stuffed mushroom. These are served immediately. These are some of the benefits of drumstick. These are the ingredients to make drumstick cutlet. To make drumstick cutlet, I have taken 4 drumsticks, cut into big pieces and steam them for 10 minutes. Scrape out the pulp using a spoon or a knife. This is 1 cup of potato, boiled and mashed. Add the drumstick pulp. One onion finely chopped. Two tablespoons of coriander leaves, finely chopped. Two green chilies finely chopped. Half a teaspoon of salt. Combine all the ingredients well. Mm -hmm. 
Take a portion of this mixture and form into patties. Into a bowl, add three tablespoons of plain flour, quarter teaspoon of salt. Add four to five tablespoons of water. Mix well without any lumps. This will give a nice binding to the cutlet. Heat up enough oil for frying on a low medium heat. Dip patties in the batter. Take out the excess and then coat in the bread crumbs. Carefully drop them in the oil. and fry the mantel golden brown patties are done nice and golden remove them from the oil There you go, crispy drumstick cutlet. Ingredients to make: eggplant or brinjal fry. This is our third recipe: eggplant fry, also called brinjal. Cut the stem and peel the skin. Cut them into big chunks and then cut vertically and horizontally. I've added a teaspoon of salt in the water. Soak them in the salt water for five minutes. This is to coat eggplant. Put that into a bowl. Add half a cup of plain flour, half a cup of bread crumbs, and half a cup of corn flour. Half a teaspoon of mixed herbs. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of roasted paprika. Half a teaspoon of salt. Give all these ingredients a nice mix. Take a eggplant. Take out the excess water. Add it to the flour mixture. Coat it well. Dab out the excess flour and set them on the side. Heat up enough oil for frying on a medium heat. Carefully drop in the eggplants and fry them until golden brown. Eggplants are cooked through. Now transfer to a kitchen towel. There you have it, crispy eggplant fry. Some of the benefits of okra, also called lady's finger. 
ingredients to make stuffed lady's finger. To make stuffed lady's finger, wash, pat dry and deseed it as shown here. This is boiled and mashed potato. To this I am adding half onion finely chopped. tablespoons of finely chopped coriander leaves, half a teaspoon of dry mango powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, two to three cheese cubes, add half a teaspoon of salt and give a nice mix. Now let's stuff the lady's finger with this mixture. Dip it in the batter. I have shown this batter in the second recipe that is drumstick cutlet recipe. Please follow that. Then into the bread crumbs, coat it well. Add it to the pan. Fry them on a medium heat until nice and golden brown in color. Deliciously yummy stuffed lady's finger. These are the benefits of chayati also called chow chow. Ingredients to make chayati fried momos. Let's make dough for momos. For that into a bowl, add 1 cup of plain flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, give a mix. I'm adding warm water to mix this. This will help us while rolling the dough. Add little oil, cover the dough and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make the filling into a pan. Add a tablespoon of oil once the oil is hot. Add one tablespoon of chopped ginger and garlic. Fry this for a while. This is one onion finely chopped. Try this for a minute. One chayoti finely chopped, also called chow chow. Three fourth teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of chili powder. Mix all the ingredients well. Cover and cook for 10 minutes on a low flame. Cook nice and soft. In this stage, add half cup of green sweet pepper. I use the green one. You can use any of these. This half a teaspoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of finely chopped coriander leaves. Give a mix, turn off the flame, let it cool down. Dough is rested well, nice and soft. Knead it one more time.
Dust some dry flour and roll it into a big thin sheet. Using a bottle cap or a cookie cutter, cut into desired size. I'm using a cookie cutter. Keep a teaspoon of filling in the center. Press and secure the edges well. Very simple to make this shape. I'll show you another one. Place the filling in the center. Fold the ends. Take one side and fold it like a pleat. Then press both the sides together as shown here. To fry this, eat up 2 tablespoons of oil. Place the momos, cover and cook for 5 minutes on a low heat. After 5 minutes, add half a cup of water. Be very careful while adding water, it might splash on you. Cover and cook for 10 more minutes. Now let's check our momos. No water in the pan. Cooked well. Fried momos served with some sauce or chutney. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you do, consider subscribing, like, share and comment. In my part 5 of this vegetable recipe series, I'll be showing you how to make 5 different types of curry. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Happy cooking!